New tonight, Arizona's law on abortion is up in the air again. A 159-year-old ban could be revived by the Arizona Supreme Court. The high court said today it'll decide whether a lower court was wrong when it rejected that 1864 ban as state law. Team Charles Bram Resnick is here to break down what's at stake. Bram? Yeah, Mark, if you thought Arizona law on abortion was settled, it's not until the Arizona Supreme Court has spoken. Now a near total ban is a possibility. This is how we got here. When the U.S. Supreme Court struck down a woman's constitutional right to an abortion last year, it handed off abortion law to the states. The case now before Arizona's Supreme Court stems from lower court rulings that attempted to clarify state law. The courts had a choice. A 2022 law that banned abortion after 15 weeks of pregnancy or a near total ban enacted in 1864, Arizona's first year as a U.S. territory. Neither law has exceptions in cases of rape or incest. An appeals court sided with the 15-week ban. The legislature has the ability um, to protect women and their unborn children. Um, the court shouldn't be stepping on that. Enter Alliance Defending Freedom. The self-described Christian law firm based in Scottsdale argues the 1864 ban should be state law. The case will be decided by the seven-member Arizona Supreme Court. Five of the justices were appointed by former Republican Governor Doug Ducey, a staunch pro-life conservative. So here's what happens next. The Supreme Court will likely schedule arguments in November or December. A ruling could come down in the first half of next year in the middle of election season and a likely campaign to expand abortion rights at the ballot box. Oh, and boy. this is a passion point all across the country for the upcoming election, isn't it? It is, but we saw in 2022 it was bad news for Republicans. Abortion puts them in a bad place with women, with the younger voters, and this is going to carry over well into 2024. So they might have some problems with this. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bram. Thank you.